side, but it is Friday inside. Bill Friday is the referee, wearing number one on the back of his jersey. And he's flanked by the linesman, number nine, Ron Fournier, and number 14, Wayne Bonney. And our coverage of the Avco Cup Final on CFRN continues in just a moment. From the faceoff to open game six, the puck is shot into the Oilers zone and Dryden out to clear. It hits Lasuk. Moffat centers an open net. Longevin clears it away. Here's a drive, and it goes off to the right. On the shot from the point by Flexen. And the play goes, the puck goes out of play, so we'll have a faceoff. Back outside the blue line. Dryden almost getting caught, and that was uh, quite reminiscent of what happened on the first Montreal goal in last night's Stanley Cup game, Bruce. Well, that's right, Al, and of course that first goal tonight is going to be so important to either team. And coming over the boards, I think you'll notice that uh, Terry Ruskowski's in uniform tonight for the Jets, and so you know it's a big game. He's got a badly bruised uh, shoulder. I don't know how long he can play, but I know one thing, the Edmonton Oilers are going to have to key on him. All right, we're all ready for the face-off. Terry Ruskowski, after missing the last game, is back in the Jets lineup tonight. And we're just awaiting the return of Ron Chipperfield from the Oilers bench. Five goals to set a WHA record in Friday's game. Did he save any for tonight? He says he'd like to get a hat trick. Well, who wouldn't? And now we will have a change in the face-off man for Winnipeg. Lukowicz taking the draw against Chipperfield, replacing Ruskowski, and now they're sending Lukowicz out. Finally, it's Lindstrom who takes the draw, and the puck comes to Schneer. Schmier crosses center, fires it in. Smith sets it up in behind. Long tried to clear, blocked by Driscoll. Driscoll in the right corner, off the board to the point. The drive goes wide to the left by Hughes. And now it's brought out to center. A long clearing pass comes into the Oilers' zone, and it's promptly cleared by Hughes, who picks it up again. And now Long has it. Crosses center, shoots it into the left corner. Hughes skating it down, around behind to the right side. And along the boards, it's fired back of the net by Lindstrom. Lukowicz centers, blocked by Hamilton, cleared away. Now in the corner, it's picked up by Lindstrom again. Lindstrom centering pass at the traffic in the slot area. And starting back comes Hunter. Over the line, breaks up, he fires, and it goes off Smith's pad to the left board. Here comes Lukowicz across to Lindstrom. Failing is Ruskowski, the shot by Lindstrom turned away. Ruskowski back in. Penalty of the game, coming at 116, and it goes to Dave Hunter of the Oilers. Well, we're taking another look at this, Al. Once again, see the shot? Dryden making the save for Alvoy. Here's Everett Scosa coming in behind. He sees knocked down from behind by Davey Hunter, and that was the reason for the call. But already, uh, you can see that Terry Ruskowski is already making himself known in this game. Off to the left and right. First power play opportunity for the game goes to Winnipeg. All ready for the draw now. And the Oilers get possession as it's brought back in the net, cleared around on the right wing side. McDonald has it. And he slides it all the way down the ice along the boards. Weir goes after it, but Vic Campbell will be there first. Campbell checked by Weir, plays it around on the left wing side. Roland Erickson forced back by B.J. McDonald, comes back in the net, banks it off the right wing boards. Erickson is forced back on the play by Longevin, but the Jets come out, and now a pass hits Longevin at center, and McDonald plays it back into the Jet zone to the right. Kent Nielsen bringing it back in the net, stopping to check the traffic. Now follows through on the left side, head man into Erickson at the line. Relays a pass that goes by Schmier. It comes in the Oilers' zone to the right. This is Longevin back of the net, touching it first. We have an icing call against Winnipeg. Looking at the power play chances in this series by the Jets, they've had 37 chances, and they've scored on eight of them. The Oilers, by comparison, have had 43 power play opportunities, and they've cashed in on 15, which is better than one-third. Now we're taking a look at uh, Dave Langevin on the screen, and already he's let his presence be known. He gave Preston a pretty good shot along the boards, and uh, 
Once again, in a game like, like tonight, every hit's going to be important because as you go along, the Oilers hopefully are looking to wear down some of the smaller people on the Jet team. This is Carlson out to take the face off against Ruskowski, and the Jets get possession with Long's pass being blocked, and Lukowicz is there to cover up. He goes to his off wing at center now. Morris Lukowicz plays it in as he runs into Schmier. The puck held in. Here's a chance. the net and it is a goal the light never did go on we're going to take another look at it he lifts them cut in he pulls it peaks right and puts it high up over top of them and that's the first goal Ruskowski and Lukowicz get the assist on Lindstrom's ninth playoff goal he is the Jets leading scorer in the playoffs this is his tenth game and he now has nine goals and five assists for 14 points. Leading the Oilers is Wayne Gretzky. In 12 games, he has 10 goals, 10 assists for 20 points. And of course, the Winnipeg goal at 2.14 brings Hunter out of the penalty box. And Joey Micheletti moves up to the left of his goaltender. At center now as we approach the three-minute mark, it's shot in by Micheletti. To the left of the goal, Long banking it off the glass, and here comes Roland Erickson. Hit over the line. Working to the right corner, back of the net, still has it. Out the left side, centered, and Hamilton clears. Hamilton in the corner, clearing it away from one man, but it comes back in front, and it's tipped out to center by Micheletti. Claxon backs in over his line, and we have a penalty being called. There's so much noise here in the Winnipeg Arena, I didn't hear the call. It looks like a hooking call. I think he might have got Lyle Moffat uh, is going off uh, now, and uh, I think he indicated that. at 3.45, Lasuk of Winnipeg for interference and McDonald of Edmonton for slashing. So the Oilers have the advantage of a four-on-three power play situation and Bruce teams like that. Well, that's right, Al. You got a little bit of chance to move around and this is what the Oilers will be trying to do. Move around, get one man caught and hopefully get a good shot on the net. Puck in the Winnipeg zone, Chipperfield. Put it to the left of the goal and it's picked off and it's cleared down the ice as McKinnon was there to cover for Winnipeg. Now Micheletti twisting in his own zone and moving out at center ice. Jets on the power play, or the Oilers on the power play as it's shot around behind by Hamilton. Smith blocks and clears to the left. Fed ahead by Long along the near boards. And Hamilton took out Preston. The puck over to Micheletti. Micheletti at the left point, looking for a man open. Feeds it to the right of the goal. Coming in front, Chipperfield, a shot. Oh, and Smith on his knee smothers it underneath. Chipperfield. Cleared by the Jets from the faceoff. And the Oilers will have to go back to regroup on the power play as Risto Sildenen brings it around behind to the left side. Sildenen now sliding it rink wide to the right, and the attack is underway with Gretzky across the Oiler line. Back to Micheletti, picks it up off the wall, circles back to the line, feeds the right point to Sildenen, drives, and Smith got the left pad over with the glove and grabbed it and held it. Hey, Cowboy, how you fix your blades, man? New Cowboy Flip. Doesn't wear the hat during games. <laughs> That's the only time he's got it off, I think. <laughs> That's quite a hat. You always know Cowboy Flip. So you see him coming. That hat with a big feather in it. All right, play underway in the jet zone. Turbenchi dropping back. And in behind the net comes Big Campbell. Now feeds to the left. Turbenchi reaches backward and lost control. Had to come back and get it. Force back behind by Weir, who peels off in front. Now moves to the left, sliding the pass to the left wing boards as the Jets come back with a rink-wide pass, bouncing in over the line, and is picked up by McDonald, who's back on along with Moffat, and the teams are at full strength. McDonald tried to play it in, but it was broken up at the line. 
Terbinci after it with Weir. Getting some help from Preston. They jam it to the wall right outside the Jets' blue line, and we'll have a face-off in the neutral zone with 13.59 remaining in the first period. A reminder that if the Oilers win tonight, forcing a seventh and deciding game, Glenn Sather, who is working that gum over pretty good tonight, will take his team along with the Jets back to the Edmonton Coliseum for the seventh and deciding game tomorrow. And there is the Kim Claxon fan club sign up there. Packers plan. Another sign off to the right here. It says uh, champagne tastes better than oil. I think it costs just as much too, doesn't it, Bruce? But your car doesn't run as good with it. I've tried it. Now the puck is shot back of the oiler goal. Dryden clearing it to the left and it comes all the way out to the neutral zone. It's loose for a moment and now it's fed to Chipperfield. Chipperfield relays it into the Winnipeg zone. Lukowicz back of the net chased out to the right side. Got by one check. Cuts to his normal wing. From the center line, he fires it in. It rings the boards to the left corner. And apparently he shot it before he hit center, so icing has been called. And they'll go back for the face-off in the Winnipeg zone. Face-off in the Winnipeg zone to the left of Gary Smith. Raskowski against Chipperfield. Hunter backing outside the circle now. Long. Covering on him as the puck goes to Winnipeg. The Jets taking possession with Lindstrom. Moving to the line. Lost it as Hamilton broke it up. And now it's knocked in, trapping two wingers offside. And they'll go back and face off outside. Ruskowski was caught in there on the offside along with Lindstrom. As it was played in by Lukowicz. Hamilton had broken it up at the blue line and was the cause of the offside. There's Ruskowski. Game little hockey player. He's Got a bad shoulder. Bill Flett. Now the puck fed to Chipperfield, and he runs into Long. Got knocked off balance and turned around. Lukowicz clearing it to center ice. The Oilers intercept. And starting back, driving it in his shoes. It rings the boards, coming to Smith's left. Picked up there. Hunter plays it around behind Driscoll. Checked back of the goal, and now collides and falls along with Guindome. Now it comes to Hunter, a shot, and that hit long. It's back on the right side. Hunter tied up. The puck is kicked ahead, but the Jets get possession. And here they come with Guindon. A drop to Long in over the line now. Works by Hamilton into the right circle. Feeds it back near the line, and Hunter got a stick on it first, and he clears it. And the Jets come back for it with Claxon. Kim Claxon at center ice. Lost it, now got it back. Shoots it in. And it comes back of the net with Dryden setting it up. Sildenen has it. Risto Sildenen letting a man pass through on the right. Now he headmans to McDonald. Gretzky's on the right, taking the pass. Trying to get control, but he got knocked down by Claxon as he couldn't get around him at the Jets line. The Oilers in possession still at center. It's shot into the zone by Gretzky. Smith coming out to clear back of the net to his right. Moffat picking it up, coming back. Plays it behind by Gresky, but Gresky centers it as he got it behind the net and it's deflected to the left wing board. Now here comes Schuberg, a long shot, gloved and dropped by Dryden, picked up by Micheletti. Micheletti's clearing attempt is blocked by Claxon, who took a shot. It was picked off in the slot and rounding his net with it, coming out Silden and headman into center. This is Gretzky. At the line, knocked off his stick, but the Oilers hold it in as Callaghan got it. Now Gretzky's shot off to the right of the net. Here's Callaghan centering, and that goes off the skates of Cott Campbell. Campbell feeding it ahead from Moffat along the boards. It comes loose. McDonald driving it back into the corner. Gretzky and McDonald. Gretzky and McDonald trying to tie it up, and now it comes loose. Campbell in there along with the now Moffat got knocked down along the boards as he was checked by Callaghan and he lands on the puck and that'll bring up a face off to the right of Smith. Well really for the first time in the game the Oilers had a little sustained pressure in the Winnipeg Jet not many good opportunities but they uh, it looks like Winnipeg have gone back to using their six defensemen a bit they had Claxton back on with Schubert and that was the case in the, in the earlier games and uh, it seems that the coach Tom McPhee is going back to that same uh, system today. The Jets leading one to nothing on a power play goal by Billy Lindstrom. As you look at the Winnipeg bench, that's Tommy McPhee and the checkerboard coat behind it. Now Weir is being 
dismissed from the faceoff, and Carlson will take the draw. And the puck goes into the corner. Sullivan is cleared around behind to the left side, and before Schmier can get to it, it comes to center. Langevin lets men clear the zone, drives it in. Smith playing it back of the net, clearing to his left. Nielsen, forced back by Flett, leaves the puck. Kerbenchy flipping it out, and too far for Sullivan. Langevin plays it back out of the Oilers' zone. Schmier taking his man out along the boards, tying him up with the puck. It was Preston. And we'll have a face-off in the neutral zone with 10.43 remaining in the first period. And the Jets in front by one to nothing. Now we take a look at Bill Cowboy Fled, who's getting an opportunity tonight to play in place of uh, Bill Goldsworthy. And certainly, I know Oiler fans would like to see the Cowboy unleash a few of those uh, hard shots. High, hard, or low, he's, he can shoot that puck. Langevin and Preston battle along the boards. They both go down, but Preston kicked it in. It winds up in the right corner. Centering attempt by Hicks. It comes right to the goal, and Dryden has to steer it away to the left. Campbell holding it in as he's slammed against the wall. It's shot around behind, cleared ahead by Weir, and it's relayed out to center by Flett. With the Jets taking over, Turbinci's rink wide pass. Too far for Preston. Langevin banks it off the boards. And now Scott Campbell shoots it in. Langevin tying it up along the boards with Preston. Getting some help from behind by Gray and Weir. We'll take another look at this in the Edmund then. You see the puck come across. Preston is knocked down, but he hits the puck, and actually Dryden had to come up with a save, or otherwise it would have been in. Way underway, live action here, coming to you on CFRN from the Winnipeg Arena as Hunter fires it into the jet zone, and it comes back at the goal. Cleared away to the right by Sullivan, picked up by McKinnon. McKinnon playing it out along the far side, and now back into the Oilers zone for it, Hamilton. Ed mans at the center, it's off Hunter's stick. This is Long driving it in, but we have a man away offside for the Jets, as Ruskowski was about five feet in over the blue line. Yeah, well, that last play, you know, that's the type of play that really hurt a team. Uh, it, was, it looked like a nothing play, but uh, as Preston was knocked down, the puck just happened to hit him, and uh, Dryden had to be very alert, you know, to make the save. Kowski facing off with Ace Bailey, who's also in the lineup for the Oilers tonight. But they're going to do it again, and now Ruskowski is being called to the bench. This will be Gindo taking the face off against Ace Bailey. The puck comes to Long at the center line. He backhands it in high to the right corner. Back of the net, Hughes. Hughes pass comes out to center ice, and McKinnon. Fires it back in, but one of his men had not cleared the zone, and we'll have a, uh, an offside call, and they'll bring it back for a face-off on the Winnipeg side of the center line. Well, I was just thinking, you know, you see Ruskowski coming on and off, and I'm sure one of the uh, problems that he has with his shoulder, of course, you know, is taking the face-offs, because, you know, you get the pressure from the other player, and I'm sure that if it's badly bruised or strained, it's got to hurt him every time that he gets a jar on of, of any type. Ruskowski back out there to take the face off this time against Bailey and it comes back to the Oiler line Hamilton back in his zone pivots pass almost intercepted by Ruskowski he ties up the man it's centered and Hamilton picks it off now Hughes and Ruskowski doing a little jostling along the boards the line's been moving in very quickly Hughes and Ruskowski they've got Ruskowski shoved away and once again, you know, uh, John Hughes and uh, Terry Ruskowski, uh, in the earlier games that were played, it seemed that uh, any time that they would get close to each other, they would be after each other. They're former teammates, but uh, there's certainly, you know, nothing holding them back in this series because they're very, both very aggressive hockey players. They come to play and they come to win, and uh, they give it their all every game. Each team has now taken three Everybody friendlies for six minutes. To number 20, John Hughes, two minutes for holding. Hughes gets it for holding. And Ruskowski for elbowing. Oh, the fans are booing that. Now oh, Terry never uses his elbows. Bruce, you never <laughs> used yours when you played this game. Gordy Howe certainly never used his. That's right. I'll tell you one thing. When you're the size of a Ruskowski or, you know, you, one thing you have to defend yourself with, you have to get the elbows up and the stick up. <laughs> They want to get to you. They got to come through one or the other. 
All right. Play will resume about 10 feet inside the order line with the face off. Both teams shorthanded. 10.42, the time of the penalties on Hughes and Ruskowski. one nothing. the Jets lead. And from the faceoff, it's cleared down the ice by Chipperfield. Coming back forth, McKinnon, deeper into his zone. Headmans to Lindstrom at the line now. And Lindstrom promptly loses it. And it's fed in on the right side by Chipperfield. Moving into the quarter is Hunter. Shook off two men who hit the boards. It's back to the point. Hamilton a shot. Smith saves, and the rebound is cleared away. Good move by Hunter. He forced two Jets to go crashing into the wall. Lukowicz being one of them. And now here come the Jets. At center ice with Big Long. In over the line. Runs into Hamilton, who stopped him. Feeds it back. Moving in. Lukowicz got by Chipperfield. To Long in the left corner. Centering pass kicked away by Dryden. And it's picked up by Hamilton. Hamilton bringing it out. Head manning on the right side. Chipperfield cracking up. Driving. And Smith got a pad on it. He was looking to his right. I think he thought it was going by. Now a rink-wide pass at center for Campbell. He dumps it ahead. And Smear picks it up inside the Edmonton zone. Puts it back to center for Gretzky. Trying to split the defense. He got through. Gretzky tried to split the defense. There's no question he was hooked as he tried to go through. 11:49 is the time of the Winnipeg penalty on Turbinchi. Oh, you're right, Al. There was no doubt about that. Gretzky put two or three moves on the Winnipeg defenseman and actually did get through. And right at the very end, Turbinchi had to pull him down. Or I'm afraid Mr. Gretzky would have had a, just a great shot on the net. Take another look at it here. Just watch the puck control. He gives him one move back the other way, slides through him, and is actually through. Trebenci wrapped him up, pulled him down, and that's two minutes. So oh, the power play situation again is four on three for 53 seconds remaining in the time on Hughes and Roskowski. Face off will be held to the right of Gary Smith. Preston will be the lone forward for the Jets. He'll have Campbell and Schubert backing him up on defense. Well, another fine opportunity now for the Oilers, and once again, you know, they'll try to move that puck around, try to get one uh, Winnipeg Jet out of position, get a good opportunity in front, and try to put it away. Callaghan and Gretzky, the forwards. Gretzky facing off with Preston. The Oilers defense is Langevin and Schmier, and it comes to Callaghan, turning just inside the line. Forced to the boards by Preston. Deeper into the left circle now, comes back. Moves it back out to Schmier. Back in the circle, Callaghan, rink-wide pass, meant for Langevin, but blocked in the slot, and here comes Campbell. Campbell over the line, penalty upcoming, as Preston was pulled down in the neutral zone. There's going to be a penalty to Callaghan. Let's see if we can show it to you on the replay. Well, the big play uh, there, Al, was really by Scott Campbell. He made a tremendous play as uh, Callaghan tried to make a rink-wide pass over to Langevin. He stepped into the middle, broke the play up in his own end, and really, we'll take a look at it here as Campbell broke out by himself. We're not going to get an opportunity to see where the penalty took place, but really the big play was Scott Campbell stepping in between the puck and Langevin and moving it out of his own end and forcing the Oilers into a penalty. Well, it happened behind the play. Callaghan interfering. And so both teams are now two men short. The first two players off, Hughes and Ruskowski, get out in 29 seconds. Then in 136, Trebinci will give the Jets a man advantage, but only for 24 seconds, while Callaghan remains off. Face off to the right of Dryden is between Chipperfield and Schubert. Chipperfield falling. Hey, Schubert thought he had the puck. Where is it? It's still in that slot area, and finally it's dug out by Langevin, who comes back to the net. Preston on him falls. And Schmier takes over the loose puck. Here comes Schmier with Chipperfield. Langevin the trailer. In over the line to Chipperfield. A drop to Schmier. Moves into the circle. Hammers a shot. And it goes off Smith. We'll have a faceoff as it went up out of play. The faceoff will come to the left of the goal. Well, the Oilers had a good opportunity breaking out here. We'll take a look at it again. Chipperfield's got possession. Moves it back to Schmier. Pretty good range. He lets the shot go, but it deflects up high and up over top of the net as uh, actually Preston got, got fell behind the Oilers net, and that uh, gave the Oilers a three-on-two opportunity. With their 10 
a two-win Friday night. The Oilers have not scored the Jets 23 to 14 in the five games in this series. However, they trailed three to two. But when the Oilers have won, they have really won big. Eight to three here and ten two at home. That's 18 goals in only two games. In a game, that's pretty impressive. But tonight it looks like the goals are going to be harder to come by for both teams. Checking has been close. Back of the goal, McKinnon coming out for the Jets now as the first two penalized players have returned to the ice, and each team is one man short as Long drives it in, a rebound back off the wall. Ruskowski dropped it back, but it got by McKinnon and comes out to center. Long back now in his own zone. It's fed ahead as the Jets come out with it. Boy, those air horns are sure noisy, aren't they? Shot around behind Hamilton. Fanned on by Carlson. Lukowicz getting it, putting it back of the net. Ruskowski is checked. Lukowicz again, and it is knocked off his stick and out to center ice as he was checked on the play by Carlson. Both teams still a man short. 26 seconds remaining in Terbenchi's time. Now Long trying to get away from McDonald. Comes to the Oiler line. Leaves it for Ruskowski. Ruskowski, a rink-wide pass, picked up and brought to the left side. Now fed in, dropped back to the point for Long by Ruskowski. Long moving in, shooting. He scores! Oh, well, take another look at this. The puck is back to Long. He makes a move by McDonald. Takes the shot, hits the far corner. Dryden went for it, didn't get it. Very long. Long's first goal of the playoffs. Very long. He can shoot the puck, Al. There's no doubt about that. And that time, he let a wrist shot go. And it just seemed to uh, catch Dryden just a bit. I don't think that he, he was maybe looking for him to wind up with the slap shot. Raskowski and Lukowicz, who assisted on the first goal by Lindstrom, also assist on Long's first goal of the playoffs. The time of that goal, 13.42. So the Jets now have a solid 2-0 lead. And the Oilers have got their work cut out for them. Each team still a man short, so that was not a power play goal. There are seven seconds remaining in Terbenchy's penalty. 31 left in Calligan. Puck back to Campbell in the Winnipeg zone. He turns with it. Feeds a rink-wide pass to the right and then gets it back in the left corner. Leaves it back of the net for Lukowicz. Drops it to Campbell. Campbell around behind. Lindstrom picking it up, coming out to the left. Willie Lindstrom. Returns it to the right for Campbell, over skates, comes back, plays it ahead, and Langevin clears it down the ice. The Jets now on the power play, but only for five more seconds when Callaghan gets out. And Callaghan stepping on now, and both teams are at full strength as the Jets shoot it in. A glove saved by Dryden, who stumbled, dropping it to the left. Schmier clears it away. Lindstrom after it. In the corner, kicking at it with his skate. He's boxed in now between Callaghan and Schmier. And they freeze it for a faceoff, which will come to the left of Dryden. 5.31 remaining. This is the first period. The Jets on top by two to nothing. The Oilers have not had good scoring chances so far, Bruce. No, I was just going to mention that. Really, the two opportunities at Chipperfield have been the only two opportunities in the period so far. Chipperfield back out there now. He'll take the face off to the left of Dryden against Sullivan. And the puck is picked up by the Oilers and fed out on the right side. This is Flett. Shooting it in, Driscoll digging after with Campbell, and Campbell pushed back by Driscoll, but Campbell managed to clear the puck away. And here comes Lindstrom, a long, long pass, comes in off smear stick, Dryden tipping it away before Nielsen could get to it. Along the far boards, Langevin is cleared to the line, but not out as the Jets hold it in. A shot hits smear, and now the Oilers have it with Flett feeding to Chipperfield at center. Dumps it in. Going after it is Flett. He's crunched into the boards by Turbenchi. And the Jets clear it down the ice as Campbell got it. It's going the full length. Schmier coming back to skate it down. And icing is called. They'll bring it back and face it off in the Winnipeg zone with 4.49 remaining in the opening period. Face off in the Winnipeg zone to the left. Gretzky with Sullivan. It goes rink wide to the right. Moffat after it. He's checked there by Callaghan, but the Jets get possession. It's cleared to the line. Siltan and blocked it with a skate, poked it ahead, but it's picked up and cleared out by Moffat. 
Loose puck at center. And it comes loose again to the near boards. And finally, the Jets shoot it in. Coming back at the goal, Siltonen. Long pass up the right wing side to McDonald. Feeds it rink wide. Picked up off the skate and brought out to center ice by Micheletti. Going to his offside. Backhands it in. Back of the goal comes Smith. Setting it up for Schuberg. Schuberg clearing it around on the right side. Callaghan playing it back. And Erickson drives it around past Gretzky. And on the left side, Schuberg gobbles it up and goes. Here he comes. Rick wide to Erickson. In over the line. Trying to get around a defender. Poked at it and hit the side of the goal as he tried to put it out in front. And Micheletti headmans to center. Here comes Gretz. Over the line. Pokes it by Schuberg. But he was brought down by Schuberg as he tried to get around him. And Smith cleared it away. Bucket center, McDonald feeding back into his own zone, and now Micheletti giving it to Sildenen. Back on the left side, and here they come again with Gretzky in over the line, and he's offside. Callaghan had the puck, but Gretzky was waiting for the pass and never got to him until he was over the line, and we'll have a faceoff back outside the Winnipeg Blue Line with 3.35 remaining in the first period. It's 2-0, Winnipeg leading. A power play goal at 2.14 by Willie Lindstrom, his ninth of the playoffs. And a goal with both teams shorthanded at 13.42 by Barry Long, his first of the playoffs. Well, certainly a tough break for the Oilers. You know, losing Dennis Sobchuk, who played so very well on Friday evening. A couple of goals, a couple of assists, but on top of that, he was really skating. And the one thing that, you know, gets the Jets, you know, someone who's got the motors and go like he can go. Take a look also at Semenko, you see, coming on the ice with Weir and Carlson as Sather has to juggle his lines because of goals really being out. And as we mentioned, Dennis Sopcich. This, I believe, is Semenko's first shift, isn't it, Bruce? Uh, I believe he's on just briefly earlier, but then there was okay. a penalty call. All right, we will have a face-off in a moment. They're, well, they're discussing a line change, apparently, and Hunter has to come back on instead of Carlson. So Weir is set for the faceoff against Sullivan. It comes rink wide back inside the Winnipeg line. Campbell bringing it out, dumping it in, and it's picked up. Hamilton long pass got by Semenko. It'll go all the way down the ice. Nielsen racing Carlson, and Nielsen there first. We have icing called. And cut. Three minutes, 21 seconds remaining in the first period. The faceoff to the left of Davy Dryden. Buck back off the boards to Campbell at the right point. He hammers a shot. Dryden gloves it, drops it. And the Oilers take over. It's fed up the right side. Driscoll now relaying it to center. It was behind Semenko. It got away from one man, Campbell. And now the Jets still in possession. And here they come over the line. Sullivan working past Hamilton. But we have an offside as Preston got in too quickly. A little tough to hear the whistles up here tonight. All the crowd are definitely yes. up for tonight's game. And... Uh, Glenn Sather's doing a little bit of jockeying on the bench, trying to get Hunter out against Lukowitz. And uh, you see Tom McPhee, he's, as soon as he's trying to make some adjustments, he takes Lukowitz out, and now he's got on Nielsen. There's the Cowboy. Now we can see the change back now, because Tom McPhee, of course, having Last change uh, being home team. He's got Lukowitz back out. Now he's against Driscoll. We got a big chicken down here dancing with one of the ushers. <laughs> From the face off, the puck comes back into the Edmonton zone. It's cleared by Hamilton to Weir. Feeds Hunter. Hunter bounced off Terbenchy's check as Terbenchy crash lands against the boards. In the corner now, Campbell squeezing Hunter from behind to make sure he ties up the play. And the faceoff will come to the left of Gary Smith. 2.49 remaining, first period. It's 2-0 for the Jets. And they have played a very tight defensive game. It's been just like an umbrella around Gary Smith. He hasn't had too much work to do. Take a look at Davey Hunter. He's staying on the ice. And uh, as we say, this changing is going back and forth. Because McPhee doesn't want Lukowitz against Hunter and is making it quite obvious. Hi, right, gang. You enjoy the game? I think they are. They're obviously Winnipeg fans. 2-0, the Jets leading. Face off to Smith's left. And the puck came in front. It was promptly cleared away to the corner. And now Driscoll dropping it back to Hamilton. Bangs a shot wide to the left. 
Preston after it on the right wing boards. There's going to be a delayed penalty against the Jets. And finally, it is called with a little bit of holding going on in front of the goal. And Glenn Sather, let's get a power play going out here and see what happens. That's right, Al. Definitely uh, holding in front. Uh, Campbell pulled down Semenko right in front of the net. And uh, there was no doubt about it. Bill Friday was right there and caught the infraction. Campbell, two minutes for holding. Be a good time for the Oilers to get back into this game with 2.37 left in the period. The goal at this time certainly would give them a big push as they go into the dressing room at the end of the first period. Only being down one goal. Campbell holding 17-23. That's the fifth Winnipeg penalty in the game for 10 minutes. The Oilers have four for eight. One of them cost them. Their first penalty of the game to Hunter for elbowing resulted in Lindstrom's power play goal at 2.14. 2.37 left in the opening period as they face off in the circle to the right of Smith. Chipperfield against Sullivan. It comes back to McKinnon. McKinnon back of the net. Tried to clear. Tied up by Semenko. Gets it around on the left side. And it's relayed out to center ice. Driscoll bringing down Preston on the play. But he managed to get it out of the zone. And now Hamilton dumping it back in. McKinnon coming back with Chipperfield, plays it up the far side, and it deflects out to center ice. As it now we have an offside call as it's shot back in. Micheletti not quite able to block that shot completely at the line. It deflected off him and came out to center. Then the order shot it in offside. Maybe just a little too impatient here at the moment. 133 left in that penalty, so there's plenty of time to get it all in before the period expires. 2.10 left in the period. Well, of course, uh, Glenn Sather's gone back to the Gretzky line now trying to get that uh, first goal. Puck shot in by McDonald, and it's cleared off the boards and relayed down the ice by Lukowicz. Hamilton back for it. Leaves it behind the net. Now Gretzky passes on it. Hamilton brings it out, feeds it up the right side, picked up by McDonald at the blue line. McDonald comes in over the line to Gretzky on his right back to McDonald. A quick shot and what a save Smith made. McDonald did not hesitate. As soon as he got it, he unloaded. And had he gone a little more to Smith's right, he might have had him beaten. But Smith got in front of it and made the big save of the hockey game for the Jets. Well, you can see the passing play. McDonald over to Gretzky, back to McDonald. He doesn't hesitate. He gets the puck away. And it ends up uh, in between the Smith's pads and he smothered the puck. Tremendous save by Big Gary Smith. Undoubtedly, he has been a very important cog in all three victories posted in this series by Winnipeg. He's had a couple of bad nights. Got bombed for eight and one. Gave up seven and another, so he gave up 15 in the two games that the Oilers won. Now from the face off to Smith's left, the puck cleared out along the near boards, but held in at the line. Silden into Gretzky, drives a shot wide to the right. McDonald dropping back to the left point as the Oilers keep it in on the power play. Silden and feeding it ahead. It's sent it out in front by Gretzky, and Smith drops to his knees in the crease area to smother the loose puck. Gretzky tipping it in front. He had a man there, Callaghan who was tied up trying to get his stick loose, but Smith just dropped on the puck. Take a look at it here, Allie. You can see it just goes off of the skate, I believe, of Kelly, and just rolled to the crease, and of course, Smith was on his hands and knees and was able to pull it in. 52 seconds left in the penalty on Campbell. Face off to Smith's left again. Gretzky against Ruskowski is back on. Ruskowski draws it back of the net. McKinnon overskated it, had to come back for it. Lug dug loose by Gretzky. Gretzky tied up in the corner, pokes it back toward the blue line. Silden and across to Micheletti. Fanned on it, fanned on it again. Now feeds it ahead. Callaghan into the corner for Gretzky. Gretzky missed the pass. It comes out in front as Long couldn't clear. Now Callaghan forced to the far boards with it. In front to Gretzky. Drops to Micheletti. To Silden and hammers a shot. That goes off Ruskowski's stick. And Ruskowski now dives to relay a clearing attempt down the ice. Fifteen seconds left in Campbell's penalty. Here's the last charge on the power play. For Callaghan in over the line. Gretzky checked by Long. Callaghan has it in the right corner. Back to the point, Micheletti. Micheletti poked it ahead, but not far enough, but he got it back off Sullivan. Over to McDonald, he shoots, and he shot it wide. 
And the puck goes out of play. And the penalty has expired on Campbell. And the Jets have killed it off, although the Oilers pressed and had a couple of great chances. That's right, Al. They had some uh, action around the net. The Blair McDonald, uh, he let a high shot go, but it was high and wide. And uh, Oilers had good possession, had a good couple of opportunities, but can't seem to get it by Smith. 31 seconds remaining in the period. 2-0, Winnipeg leading. Sullivan and Chipperfield, the face-off man. And Lukowicz plays it to the far boards, but Langevin there to poke it away. Now Lukowicz getting it again, shooting it in from his own side of center. The race is on. Schmier is there first. And we have an icing call against Winnipeg. They'll bring it back and face it off to the right of Gary Smith. Now we see another line combination put out uh, by Glenn Sather. He's got Chipperfield now out with uh, Flett and Carlson. So we're seeing quite a few new combinations in this first period. Now Glenn Sather making a change. He's putting out Hunter and Driscoll on the wings. And he's leaving Chipperfield as the pivot man. Field and Ruskowski taking the draw. Lindstrom and Lukowicz, the wingers. Now Mr. Chips is ready. And they'll do it all over. 19 seconds remaining in the period. But they are not going to let him come on, apparently. Bill Friday checking with linesman Ron Fournier and they're forcing him to come back, and Schmier, who had come off the ice, returns. Mr. Friday must know the cameras are on him. Al, he loves them cameras, and he likes to get into the action. From the face off here, Schmier cranking up, and it hits the traffic. Lukowicz playing it off the boards. Langevin holding it in. His shot hit long. Chipperfield whacked it, a bouncing puck, but topped it. It's cleared away to the left side, and relayed out to center ice. A one on one. Langevin is back. Here's Preston coming in. Langevin tied him up, he centers it. And it goes rink wide to the left wing boards, and we have an injured player. No, he's all right, Preston fell, but he got up, and that's the end of the period. The score favors the Winnipeg Jets by two to nothing. They scored on the power play with Davey Hunter off. At 2.14, Lindstrom connecting for his ninth of the playoffs from Ruskowski and Lukowicz. And then while both teams were playing a man short, at 13.42, the Jets made it two to nothing. Very long scoring, his first playoff goal. And again, the assists went to Ruskowski and Lukowicz, who also assisted Lindstrom on the first goal. In the penalty department, Winnipeg took five for 10 minutes. The Jets had four for eight minutes. It's two to nothing, Winnipeg leading. By two to nothing, Lindstrom on a power play and long while both teams were shorthanded. Referee Bill Friday is calling the troops to action and we'll have the face off just in a moment here. If there is a seventh and deciding game in this series, it will be played tomorrow night in the Edmonton Northlands Coliseum. Certainly, Al, the next goal you know, looms very large for either team here. Uh, for the Oilers, it's really, uh, you wouldn't like to drop behind 3-0 uh, playing away from home. And uh, for the Jets, of course, uh, you know, they want the next one. They're going to be playing it tight. The Oilers hopefully don't open up too much. There's still a long way to go in this game. Keep picking away, picking away, get a goal back now. I wouldn't like to see them open it up too much and give the Jets an opportunity to uh, score that third goal. Wayne Gretzky and Roland Erickson will be the face-off men. Third man in the circle is Bill Friday. Number one. Number one on his back, number one in your hearts. And here comes the puck back to the blue line to Schuberg. Rick wide to clacks it on the right. Advances to the neutral zone, shoots it in from the red line. Coming back for it, Sildenan drove it around behind, but we have icing called. And they'll go back and face it off to Gary Smith's right. Well, Bruce, uh, I know you and Glenn Sather and all of the oiler brass are going to be faced with a very busy summer trying to 
rebuild a team for the NHL next season. Well, hopefully, Al, we won't lose too many players. Our problem is we just don't know who we're going to lose, and that's what makes it very difficult. When will you know which players the NHL is going to take back from you? Actually, I think there's only about uh, 24 or 48 hours. They, they'll give us a list, and at that time, they'll tell us who they're going to take and who they're not going to take. So, so you won't know that until about the 8th of June, probably. Right. It doesn't give you much to uh, go on at the present time. Face off to the right of Smith. Gretzky against Erickson is back of the net. Moffat now to the left corner, banking it off the boards. Lasuk failed to get it out. Silton then plays it off the wall. And now it's picked up by Erickson. Comes to the line, stops and goes, trying to get away from Gretzky, who lost his balance momentarily. Erickson shoots it in. Dryden clears it to the left side. Played back in behind the net by Claxon. Now Fletch pass deflection goes rink wide. And the Oilers still trying to come out. Moffat. Bowling over Callaghan, and the Oilers still in possession. It's fed to center now for Micheletti. Micheletti driving it in. It rings the boards, and Smith sets it up behind. Schuberg checked. Callaghan knocked down a man behind the net, feeds it back to Selden, and he drives a shot wide. And the rebound gets by Micheletti and comes back into the Oilers' zone. Selden has it there to Micheletti at the line. A long rink-wide pass. Gretzky chasing it as he was tied up with Schuberg. Smith comes out to make a play, bumped by Gretzky, but he clears it away. Now Gretzky again, fanned on it as he tried to get it out in front. Callaghan battles for it along the far boards, and finally, it's cleared out by Claxon. Coming back for it is Hamilton, and we have icing called against the Winnipeg Jets. All ready for the faceoff to the left of Gary Smith. 127 gone. Second period. The Winnipeg Arena. Game six of the AFCO Cup Final. The Jets lead the Oilers 3-2 in the series and 2-0 in this one. From the faceoff in the corner and members of both teams tie it up there. Barry Long for the Jets and Hunter. We'll have a faceoff again to Smith's left. Hunter and Driscoll now out as the wings with Chipperfield. Raskowski against Chipperfield on the draw. And Chipperfield getting it back to Hamilton. A shot bounces away from Smith. And McKinnon clears it to the left boards. Hunter playing it around behind. And on the right side is fed ahead by McKinnon. Not out, though. Here's a drive. Kicked out with a toe. Hughes drive. And Smith got the toe on it of the left skate. It's played around to the right wing side, and Hughes charging in, knocking over Lindstrom, but the puck comes back in the Oilers' zone. Hamilton now out to Hunter, tried to feed Chipperfield, but it deflects and goes up out of play off Roskowski. And we'll have a face-off on the Edmonton side of the center line. Exactly two minutes gone. Well, that was a kind of an innocent-looking play, the shot from the uh, point by John Hughes, but actually... Uh, Smith moved a little late on it and really had to come up with a toe save, uh, uh, you know, to keep it out of the net. There's Disco Dave Semenko back on the ice. Big number 27. All 215 pounds of them. The puck back to Schmier. Schmier to Langevin. He dumps it in from his own blue line, and Smith cleared it away, so there'll be no icing call. Weir now. Back to Langevin, he cranks up with a golf shot that comes out in front off the boards, held in by Schmier. Schmier playing it into the corner to the right. Weir from Schmier in front now. McDonald, he's in for the shot. Oh, and it goes back to the left of the goal. It's cleared. Another good chance for the Oilers, and they couldn't put it away. They're getting their chances, but they're not turning on the old red light. And here's Campbell at his own blue line now. Long pass comes in off the stick of McDonald. And we have an offside being called against the Jets. We'll have a faceoff back in the neutral zone with two minutes and 43 seconds gone in the second period. Well, I think it's uh, noteworthy here that for the first time that I can remember in quite a long time, uh, Coach Glenn Sather has elected to uh, take uh, Blair McDonald off the Gretzky line, and he's uh, more or less trying to keep him away from Lazuka, I believe. And you're going to see Blair here. Take a shot with some ankle in front of the net, and it goes high up over the top of the ice. But uh... Langevin picking up a loose puck at the right of the goal, clearing it, but not out. Hicks a drive, and it's gloved and held by Dryden. Face off will come to Dryden's right. Langevin and Schmier the defense. 
We're taking the face off. Weir centering for McDonald and Semenko. Sullivan on the draw against Weir. He has Preston and Hicks flagging him. Really should explain that again. You know, the reason that the McDonald is off is because Lazuk has done a tremendous job on McDonald the whole series. Puck back to Campbell, drives, and it goes out of play off Semenko. They'll have a face-off about three feet inside the Oiler line this time. A lot of stoppages tonight as the teams are playing it tight to the vest. Only 3-0-1 gone in this period. Well, we can see Dave Semenko falling in the front of the puck, deflecting it wide, high and wide uh, of the Oiler net. Weir and Sullivan on the draw, and it goes Rick wide to the right side. Schmier now trying to play it out against Hicks. Now McDonald has it. Feeds it off the skates of Weir, and it's picked up now by Preston. Weir jams him to the boards. The puck back to Campbell. Campbell at center, firing it in. Racing for it is Hicks, but Schmier will be there, too. Schmier sidesteps Hicks' charge. Now to McDonald. It's knocked back into the corner. Fed out in the slot, and Weir picks it off, and he clears it out on the left side for Semenko. He takes a bump from Campbell, but he relays it into the jet zone, and back of the net comes Terbenchi, tied up by Campbell, or by McDonald. And he clears it at bounce past Schmier. Now Langevin ahead to Schmier at the line. He's tied up there by Preston. Hicks charging in. It looks like he might have had an elbow up there. Hicks charging in against Weir. And we have a bit of a crowd scene. Apparently no penalties, though. We have a face-off coming up just inside the Oilers' blue line. Not only the players are uh, getting having a few scuffles on the ice, so it looks like some of the yeah, fans are also getting in the action. A little uh, rumpus going on in the stands to the left of the Jets' goal. A little hair pulling and eye gouging. Doesn't look too serious, really. It's good, clean fun looking around to see if it was the Oiler uh, trumpeter Claude Scott. He's in attendance uh, at tonight's game, and I was uh, looking to see if it would happen to be him, but it wasn't. Face off outside the Oiler blue line. Flett being replaced by Hunter at right wing for the Oilers. Gretzky is centering with Callaghan on the left, and we have Erickson at center between Lasuk and Moffat for Winnipeg. That sends Gretzky against Erickson. He outnumbers them 99 to 19. And now they're chasing Erickson and Moffat moves in. Buck comes back across the center line and this is Schuberg, backhands it ahead. Moffat in over the line, puts it over on the far side. And Lasuk was tied up, there's gonna be a penalty play goes on. The Oilers will be shorthanded. Claxon back near the line with it. Along the near boards, Erickson trying to dig it loose. Micheletti after it. It's knocked back in the corner. Claxon's pass goes off Gretzky's stick, and now Gretzky gets it back. And the hooking penalty is being called. And it comes at the 4.09 mark as we have Hunter going off for Edmonton. Well, actually, Davey Hunter uh, grabbed a little bit of uh, Lazuk as he is going towards the net. And uh, Bill Friday happened to catch the infraction. And I don't think it was. Uh, Type of a penalty really that uh, was going to be involved in much, but Mr. Friday, uh, in his discussion, felt that uh, he grabbed the hole enough to slow him down, and that'll put him off for two minutes. Well, take a look at it here. Look to the front of the net here. You'll see Lazuk going towards the net. Right there, you see it. He just grabbed the hole just a little bit to turn him around. That is the fifth penalty to the Oilers. For 10 minutes, the Jets have also taken five for 10. One Winnipeg goal resulting from the first penalty of the game on a power play. Weir went right in front of his own goal, cleared it away, picks it up, plays it off the boards, pass long and all the way down the ice. Kent Nielsen back to skate it down. Stops, takes a traffic check, lets a man pass, now comes out, feeds it to the left side. It got away from Long, and this is McDonald in the corner. Long tying him up, and now the puck is taken over and fed to the right side. Here comes Lindstrom. At the line, to the left side, and he's offside. Lukovic by a hair. Morris Lukovic just in a shade too quickly, and he is upset with himself. And Glenn Sather 
Yes, I'm sure shouting instructions not to leave that man open on the wings there. Oh, he can fly, Al. He gets going at Lukowicz, I'll tell you. He can really move. And Larry McDonald got trapped into the uh, jet in that time, and uh, Lukowicz is wide open on the uh, left side. I wonder what this game would be like if they if they impose weights on these fast skating players like they do on horses and races, made them put so many uh, ounces of lead weights in his Seem only fair. Huh? Yeah. Should work on that, Bruce. Help prolong the careers of a few of the slower skating players. Help now, a defensive hockey player. The puck bet ahead by Long. It comes in past Lukowicz. Back of the Oiler goal, and it's driven ahead by Langevin. Now here comes Schmier to Weir. Schmier to Weir, who shed a tear into his beer and sent it out in front, and it's blocked by Smith. And here come the uh, Jets back on the charge now. Here's Lukowicz cranking up, and Langevin deflects that over the glass and into the crowd. Fine play by Dave Langevin, dropping down in front of that puck and deflecting it over the glass. Then we'll take a look at your uh, Weir and uh, Schmier play, and uh, we'll pass it back and forth. It goes over to McDonald here. McDonald sees Warner breaking for the net, tries to make the play. Schmier was going, but uh, I believe Gary Smith, he stretched out, deflected the puck, and put it wide. Actually, it was a fine play by Smith because Schmier was in home free. Time remaining on Davy Hunter's penalty, 56 seconds. Time remaining in the second period, 14:47. Home score two, the visiting score nothing. That means the Jets are leading the Oilers. Two nothing in the game, three to two in the series. The Avco Cup is at stake here again tonight, as it was Friday, but the Jets couldn't do it then. They have a nice lead, and they're playing it cozy. Here comes McKinnon. Of course, the penalty on Hunter expired with the goal, and now the Oilers shoot it in. They're down 3 0, and the hill gets higher as they try to climb it and get back in. From the point, a shot by Hughes is wide. Flint puts it in front. It goes off the skate of Claxon, and now it's cleared to Lasuk on the left side. To center for Moffat, it's tipped away, but it's picked up. In they come, and Erickson is written off into the boards as he tried to go around the defense. And now Moffat was knocked down. Hughes taking Erickson out with a good solid check. Now back come the Oilers. Pass to the left for Gretzky, but the lead man on the play was 10 feet offside. Going in too quickly was Callaghan. And we'll have a faceoff outside the Winnipeg Blue Line with 14.01 remaining in the second period. It's been a long season for Wayne Gretzky, a 17-year-old. Come into the league, he's played well over 100 games, and uh, really that's a tough chore for a fellow that's still really in his teens. Tremendous hockey player. Hunter coming on to flank Gretzky on the right. Callaghan is on the left. Lasuk coming out for Winnipeg on left wing. Erickson at center, Moffat on the right. To wonder what effect the absence of Sobchak and Goldsworthy has had on the Oilers tonight. They, of course, have been spark plugs for them in the two games they've won, and they're both absent. Goldsworthy re-injuring his ankle, and Sobchak is out with stomach a stomach disorder, a little food poisoning, in case you're wondering and you turned in late why you haven't seen him. 
That's the problem. Faceoff outside the Jets' blue line. Gretzky against Erickson as it comes to center. And is driven in by Hughes. Set up behind the goal, and Schuberg comes out to the right. Here comes Lars Schuberg, captain of the Jets, feeding to the left side. This is Erickson, and he got it in the skates. And he couldn't pull it loose in time to get the puck over the blue line ahead of him, so he's offside. They'll face off back outside the Oilers line. Roland telling me in a conversation in the hotel lobby on Saturday night that he's moving into a new house when he gets back to Lexan Street. Kresge and Erickson on the draw. Back to Schuberg. Schuberg rink wide to Claxon. His defense partner drives it in. Dryden steers it to the right with his stick. Hamilton fanned on it. Lukowicz trying to get it to Moffat is picked up by Erickson instead. Erickson pivots. But the puck is there. Erickson. I think it went off of a defender. Looked like Hamilton at the right edge. I think it hit him, didn't it, Bruce? We'll see this play coming from the side of the net. Someone in front, and right by Dwight. Well, it must have hit Al Hamilton in front because they're giving the goal to Roland Erickson. Uh, Moffat took a whack at it, but it must have went in off of Hamilton. They say, Al, if you don't know what to do with the puck sometimes, just throw it to the net. And there's a case where he just threw it to the net, it hit someone in front, and went by the goal. I couldn't make out the assists. Uh, the PA system in this building is not good when we're up here. Uh, there's some girders that seem to block out the noise, but Erickson gets the goal. I think it hit Hamilton at the right edge of the crease. Now here come the Jets again, and a drive right on by Lindstrom kicked out. And it's still in the zone. Now here's Lindstrom getting another chance going in. Oh, and he got around Dryden. He tried to stuff it from the short side. seen a goal scored earlier by Lindstrom. He gives you the fake. You take a look at him here when he cuts in towards the goal. He makes a fake like he's going to go in front of the net and then he'll go back to the short side. And he just hits the side of the net with a puck. Once again, Lindstrom very, very cagey around and it has the good moves. It's hand clapping time in the Winnipeg Arena. 13.03 remaining in the second period. Weir and Sullivan on the faceoff to the left of Dryden as it comes off the boards to Campbell at the point. Plays it around on the wall. McDonald back into the corner for it. Fires it. It got by Terbenchi. And it goes the full length of the ice. Campbell skates it down. And we have icing called on Edmonton. And they'll go back for the faceoff to the right of the goal. Only the one assist on Erickson's goal, it went to Lukovic at 6.35, the time of the goal. His second of the playoffs. Now from the faceoff, a shot goes wide by Nielsen. And Bailey is going to get a penalty here. And Campbell may also. Right, I think they're both going to get it here. Bailey uh, kind of got his elbows up. Uh, Campbell retaliated, and I think you're going to see them both go to the penalty box. Time of the penalties will be 7.19. We'll take a look at it here. Now you can see Bailey taking Campbell into the boards. He gets his elbows up a little high. Takes him in pretty good. And you see as Campbell, Campbell comes off the boards and retaliates. And that's the reason that they're both going to They're having a little conversation with Campbell, but Campbell's not listening. Bailey elbowing and Campbell roughing. 7-19. Each team has now taken six penalties for 12 minutes, so they're all even in that department. But the Jets on top of the scoreboard by four to nothing. 
Face off just inside the Oiler blue line. Stan Weir getting ready against Sullivan. And it's back to the line. Turbinci pokes it ahead to Sullivan. Slides it across on the far side. It's shot around behind. And in the near corner, Schuberg losing it as he's checked by Weir. It's played around behind by Micheletti. Selden and now feeding to Weir. Weir dumping it in for McDonald. He's checked by Turbinci. Forced back up against the wall. Puck is still in there. Now it's poked loose by Selden and Weir getting it across. Here's Micheletti going in. He shoots. And Smith came way out to make the save. Timed it perfectly. Micheletti looking for something to shoot at. And then the next thing, that big six foot four was coming at him, sprawling. And Micheletti couldn't get it over top of him. Now at the blue line, Preston was offside. Sullivan had it turned back. Dumps it to center for Schuberg. Gets it back on the left side. Sullivan across the line, trying to go through the defense, but he got knocked down by Sildenen. Sildenen around behind the net. Rick wide to the left for Weir. Had a circle back to get control. Now comes again. Headman's for McDonald, but it's picked off, and Schuberg has it. Schuberg advancing slowly. Now to the left for Turbenci. Taken out against the boards by Sildenen. McDonald playing it back of the net. Micheletti couldn't get to it in time. Bruskowski tried to center it. Deflects and lands to the left of the goal as it came up off a stick. And now Micheletti plays it around behind. Ruskowski and Sildenen going after it. And Ruskowski got knocked down, but the puck comes back to Long. Here's a shot. Right, kicked it out of rebound. Ruskowski missed it. Now gets it back to McKinnon. His shot blocked. McKinnon again. And we have a stoppage of play. Micheletti down at the left of the goal. I think the referee Bill Friday lost sight of the I puck think, there. Yeah, I think Friday uh, must have. I don't see any other reason right. for stopping play. We're going to have a face-off to the left of the Edmonton goaltender Dryden. There are 21 seconds left in the penalties on Bailey and Campbell. Well, you see that shot by Long from the point. Gets good wood on it. A great play by Joey Micheletti because that rebound was laying loose. He was able to clear it away. Take it out of harm's way. Well, you know, the score is 4 nothing, but we still, you know, can't lose sight. There's still a half a hockey game to go here, and the Oilers uh, have to pick away. They have to try to get back into the net. Take a look at Eddie Mio. He's anxious, and, you know, he'd like to play. He's always... I think I better get out of here. I just saw Colonel Sanders come in. <laughs> From the faceoff, Langevin leaving it along the left wing boards, racing in for it. McKinnon puts it in the corner, sent it out. Lukowski, look at which is shot, and it's blocked by Dryden. wide to the left. It rebounds to the near boards and a good check there on McKinnon, but he bounced off that hit by uh, Langevin. Here's Long back. of Davey Dryden. We'll take another look. He just puts a little bit of a move on Schmier, but gets the puck away very quickly, right to the stick side of Davey Dryden, and beats him low. Roskowski and McKinnon get the assist. That's Terry Long's second goal of the playoffs and his second tonight. And now we have a change in goaltenders. Eddie Mio is coming on as Coach Tommy McBee of the Jets is probably breathing much easier than he was before they dropped the first puck tonight. As a matter of fact, he almost looks relaxed, but coaches never look that way. I do detect the uh, outline of a smile playing around the corners of his lips. Eddie Mio taking over at 9.23. 
9.23 Mio on. Now play underway. And the Oilers have the puck, but they're having trouble getting out of the zone. Almost stolen by Erickson. Now Hughes checked by Erickson. It's fed to Gretzky. Gretzky to flat. He had a chase and it got away from him in the corner. Tried to center, but he's checked by Lasuk. Puck still back of the goal. Schuberg playing it up the left wing side. Erickson relaying it out. And Moffat after it, but he'll be beaten to it by Hughes. Drives it around on the left wing side. And now it's fed to the blue line. And here comes Hamilton, a long shot. And it's off the stick of Smith, rebounding to his right, where Claxon checked by Gretzky, leaves it for Moffat. Moffat dumps it in behind. Schuberg playing it to the left side for Lasuk. Here comes Lasuk, preceded up the ice by Erickson, shoots it in, goes to the bench as they change on the fly, and Mio handles the puck for the first time, clearing it to his right. Now in the corner, Preston comes back with that, tried to stop it. A uh, stick went up. Nielsen raised his stick, but it did not go in, and the light did not come on. They'll face off to the left of the goal. We're going to take another look at this. You see Rich Preston going around behind the oil net. You can see him come right to the side of it and try to stuff it in the short side. Now that's a tough save for a goalie just coming in, but uh, Eddie Meal got over just in time to block. Face off to Meal's left. Davey Dryden there, of course. Nobody is more disappointed than what he is at this point of the game. Tremendous competitor. Had a tremendous year. Now the puck held in by the Jets. A rink-wide pass coming back toward is Lindstrom. Taps it ahead. Semenko whacks at it. Didn't get it out. Lindstrom shot, and it bounced around off Silden in front. He clears it to the right for Driscoll. Driscoll failed to clear it as the oh, Jets are really checking here now. In the corner, Ruskowski got balled over. And the man who checked him fell on top of him. As they get up in the corner, we're going to have a face-off outside the blue line. Ruskowski was a little slow getting up as he was pinned to the ice by Driscoll. But he's all right. Well, we'll take another look at this, Al. You know, when we look at Terry Ruskowski, he's taken in the boards heavily by Driscoll. But whatever you want to say, we talked about it earlier. He is the heart of the Winnipeg Jets, and he showed it here tonight. He's come out. He's playing hurt. He's got two or three assists already, and you just have to give him all the credit in the world. All smear, anxiety showing on his face as he checks the score in the clock. 8.58 to play. 5 nothing. Winnipeg leads. And the Oilers are faced with a very difficult assignment here, trying to come back from this deficit. Now back of the goal. Nicoletti headmanning to Driscoll. Driscoll dumping it in. It comes back to the goal. Smith clearing to the left for Lukowicz, and he relays it out over the line. Lindstrom tried to steal it away, but couldn't, and we're going to have a face-off on an offside. And we'll have the face-off right outside the Winnipeg blue line. 8.34 left to play. Muskowski's the type of hockey player, I think, Al, when you look, he's the kind you hate, but you'd love to have him on your hockey club. Buck comes into the Winnipeg zone. Smith sets it up in behind there, and McKinnon trapping it against the back of the goal. We're going to have a face-off to Smith's left. There's a good shot from up top of the Oiler bench. Seems to be rather quiet at the moment for understandable reasons. Puck back to the blue line, but we have a whistle, and they're going to do the face-off again. The Oilers really haven't had that many opportunities in this period. Uh, I guess one of their better ones is when Nicoletti broke in from the pass with uh, getting from Weir, and uh, I think if he could have got the puck up a little higher, he would have put it over top of Smith. On the face-off, they'll do it all over again. Chipper Field against Ruskowski. Chipperfield, by virtue of his five goals in the last game, moved into third place in the WHA scoring race, trailing Blair McDonald by one point and Wayne Gretzky by three. 
Now Ruskowski getting the puck, feeding it out to Lindstrom. He reached back but couldn't get it. Played ahead off the boards by Micheletti, brought in by Driscoll, taken out by McKinnon. And McKinnon trying to clear the puck, ran into Chipperfield, and Ruskowski comes back for it. Ruskowski chased to the far boards by Chipperfield. Headman Salukowicz, he's forced back by Sildenen. Now gives it to McKinnon on the right side. Makes it off the wall, and it's picked off and brought back in over the line. Driscoll moves in deep, now turns back, got tied up. Trying to whack at the puck. It's fed back to the left point. Micheletti's shot is way wide to the left. Lukowicz getting it. And he clears it past Sildenen. And here they come with Lindstrom in over the line. He took a check, and here's a drive by Long. Turned aside by Meal. Now there's a little bit of jostling going on down here. Driscoll battling along with Lindstrom. And we're going to have some penalties. Uh, we're going to look at some action in the oil are in. Lindstrom trying to move around Nicoletti. Puck goes into the corner. See, come around the boards. Lindstrom and Disco get into it here. You see there's a little jostling. Disco puts his arm around, and that's where he gets the penalty. On the faceoff in the Oilers zone, Langevin back of the net. Tried to clear. Turbenchy holds it in. Now Preston back to Turbenchy. A shot went right across the front. Comes out to the right point position. It's held in by Campbell. Campbell to Nielsen. Back out to Campbell. Campbell working it around to Nielsen. Comes into the circle. Feeds it rink wide to the left point for Turbenci. Turbenci puts it in the corner. Jets on the power play. Now Turbenci deep in the slot. A shot. Came through the traffic. Neal steering it away. Sullivan puts it in the circle to Preston. Tried to come in front. Weir turned him back. Gives it to Turbenci. Into the corner to Sullivan. Back to Turbenci. Hammers a goal shot. Wide to the right. It's centered right out in front. A loose puck, a scramble, and it's cleared, but not out. Here's Nielsen getting it. Goes to the circle, shoots, it's blocked. Loose at the right side. Smear clears it in behind. Smear playing it off the boards, but not out. Campbell held it in. To Nielsen. Trying to come in front. He's turned back. Nielsen still in that circle. Started in and turned back again. Now waiting. Drives a shot. And it's blocked. It comes back to the line, but not out. Nielsen putting it in the corner. Preston checked by Langevin. Back of the net, Schmier digs it loose. Schmier on the far side. And his clearing attempt is deflected over the boards and out of play. And we'll have a face-off to the right of Mio with 41 seconds remaining in the penalty on uh, the Jets player Driscoll, the Oiler player Driscoll. Well, certainly a lot of action in the Oiler end there. The Oilers just couldn't get possession to clear it. And of course, the Jets were moving the puck around. Sullivan, Nielsen, Preston. They had some opportunities. And Eddie Meal, of course, moving around, sharp in the net. But you can just, the Winnipeg Jets are definitely uh, smell the taste of uh, victory here. They've got everything going. They're moving the puck well. And it's going to take a big job by the Oilers to try to get back into this. Face off to the right of Meal. 6.15 remaining in the second period. It's 5 0 Winnipeg. Oilers still shorthanded as the puck comes out along the left wing boards. And it's cleared down the ice by Callaghan. Smith is out playing it in behind Long now. As Chipperfield peeled off in front, Long starts up. A defenseman looking for a hat trick. He has two goals in the playoffs, both tonight. Now here's Ruskowski tried to play it in, but Hamilton knocked it back over the boards. And we'll have a face-off outside the Oiler line. 19 seconds remaining in the penalty on Peter Driscoll. Bill Friday, I wonder if this is the last game Friday will referee, or whether he will be absorbed in the National Hockey League expansion to include the Oilers, the Jets, the Whalers, and the Nordiques next season. He's had a great career, whatever happens. Now the puck is back in the Oilers zone, cleared to the line now. Now look at which a shot, and Neal deflects it to the left as he got the hand on it. And it's in the corner now. McKinnon tries to center, and he does. And Mio smothers it as he falls in the crease to his knees. And the Oilers seem to be having an awful lot of problems right now, withering the tremendous offensive power that the Jets have shown in this second period. We're going to take a look at it here now. Like it's thrown out. This is the side of that field that goes down his balls. But right before that, L, you call it. He just made a super glove save off of more of course, Lukowicz because he gets the puck away as good as anybody. But Eddie Mule has just a tremendous glove hand. Now 
Now it's brought back at the goal by Hamilton as the penalty expires and Driscoll returns. Putting the Oilers at full strength. Carlson dumping it ahead, but Driscoll couldn't get turned to get it. McKinnon clearing it out. Hamilton forced back to allow a man to clear the zone and get onside. Now it's shot by Hughes. It deflects rink wide off Lindstrom. Hamilton coming back in his zone with it. Returns it to Hughes. Up the wing to Driscoll. Driscoll to Chipperfield. Over the line. Dumps it into the corner. Driscoll skated off by Long. Now he runs into McKinnon knocking him down. And the centering pass comes all the way back. Here's Mio way out. The play pick picked up by Lukowicz. The goal is empty. Tried to center and Hamilton there to clear it away. And Mio is now back in the goal. Now Long fires it and it goes out of play. We'll have a stoppage. Face off on the Edmonton side of the center line. 4.47 left in the second period. The Jets leading by five to nothing. And if the Jets win, their name will be inscribed on the AFCO Cup for the third time. They've been in the final five times. This is the Oilers' first appearance. And I understand that Winnipeg will get permanent possession of the cup if they win it tonight. Whoever wins it, the last time it's won is entitled to keep it. Buck is back of the Winnipeg goal, and they are stopping play for... Well, Bill Friday just got a little bit of tired. Uh, Claxon uh, just didn't seem to know what to do with the puck. Uh, he's not one of your finesse hockey players. They sometimes say that he carries a lot of cement in his gloves, and there's a case there that he just didn't know which way to go with it. They can't call him for a delay in the game on that, Bruce. Or is it just automatic that they call <laughs> for a face-off? With him, they out? probably could, Al. I don't think they would call a penalty in that, though. Of course, nobody was there to try to take it away from him, so there's not much else they can do about it. Right. The only time usually they do that, if you, you know, hold the puck against the boards and uh, with nobody around them, then it would be a penalty for a delay of game. As long as he's moving, they can't call the penalty, moving the puck. Now Micheletti from the left point. Feeding it into the right corner. And is picked up, and here comes Claxon. Blacker at the center, ran into Silden, and dumps it in. A clearing attempt by Micheletti is still in the zone. Fed back by Callaghan. Micheletti behind the net. Moffat eyeballing him from across the goal. And Micheletti now still trying to decide which way to go. Leaves it, and it's fed up the left side for Callaghan. Gretzky, who fed the pass, trailing now as they come in. McDonald on the right. It's dumped in front. And Smith clears it to his left for Lasuk. Lasuk plays it to the line, and Sildenen fanned on it. Micheletti coming back to retrieve the puck in his own zone. Watched by Moffat, forced deep to the right. Now headmans to center, and Gretzky couldn't get turned in time. It's coming back to the right of the Jets' goal. They're waving off icing, and Claxon has it. Headmans to Erickson. Down the right side for Roland Erickson. Erickson at the line to Lasuk now. He plays it around on the boards behind the net. And it's fed out to the line, but not out as Campbell got there to hold it in. In the corner, Micheletti trying to get away. Headmans. And the puck is brought to center by Callaghan. Checked very closely. He shoots it in. And Campbell knocking down Gretzky in front as they wrestle. But play goes right on. And here's Preston. Rick wide to the left. Erickson in over the line. Cutting to his right, into the circle, put it in front, and it's picked off, and back come the Oilers on the attack. Over the line, McDonald in front, the Weir, and it was offside, and Weir shot the puck right into Smith's pants, and now the fight is on. We got Preston going at it here, down below. Preston and Langevin. Is it Langevin, Bruce? I think I it's think a 26. Right. Yes, Langevin uh, hurt Preston. Not really too much happened, not too many punches thrown. Preston and Langevin were the participants, and they will both have a cooling off period in the penalty box. It's kind of a strange play, Al. It was a little bit of a delay at the uh, jet blue line there for the whistle, and uh, everything just seemed to slow up from there. 1709 will be the time of the penalties. I wonder if they're serious enough to call them majors or whether they'll settle for a roughing minor. Didn't look like too many punches were thrown. I don't know what Bill Friday will call, but I think probably two minutes is in order in something like this. I don't think they call majors unless somebody gets decapitated. Well, we'll take a look at the race. It happened a little bit earlier. Eddie Meal 
and Lukowicz were going for the buck, and you can see that Eddie Meal won the race. He just got his stick on it, just enough to deflect it to the corner. Of course, Lukowicz is still after it. He's on his feet, but John Hughes will come in and make a play here, stop him from getting it in front of the net. Well, they're not posting the time, so we assume the majors are the Edward result. Penalty, Here they are. Fans don't agree with it either, Al. I mean, there really wasn't much of a fight towards it. There was a lot of pushing and shoving, and uh, really that's all that it amounted to. So each team has seven penalties for 17 minutes. The majors are offsetting. Neither team shorthanded on the ice as the Oilers fire it in. And it's in the right corner now. It's centered out in front. Carlson, a quick shot wide to the left. Hicks trying to clear, but it's held in by Hamilton. Just inside the line, shot it and hit Hicks. It deflects out to center. And it's played into the Oilers zone now by Nielsen. Back of the goal. A hard check thrown by Hicks, who's stumbled to his knees. And the puck brought out by Weir, who feeds it to the left. And Carlson couldn't get around Nielsen, but gets the puck back from Weir, put it out in front. And the man in front missed the pass. It got by Hunter and comes out to center ice. And now Nielsen falling. Here's Carlson. He shoots. Oh, and he shot it wide comes off the boards into the mesh and they'll bring the face off back outside the line. Carlson getting a good chance. He was going for the short side, but he fired it wide. 2-0-2 remaining in the period. Well, we're going to take another look at this. We don't really get too good of an angle on to see uh, the puck go wider than that, but uh, Stevie Carlson had a good opportunity. Tried to go for the stick side and just missed. Sildenden forces him to stop and turn over to Lukowicz. He lost possession in the left circle. And now Micheletti brings it back of the net. Joe Micheletti faking to the right, now coming to the right. Slides a pass to the boards. It's on to Driscoll. A return pass, and Chipperfield couldn't get it as it came off the wall. Ruskowski checking Driscoll, who just threw him off the puck. But the Jets retain possession. McKinnon firing it in on the boards. Back of the goal, Sildenen with it. Risto Sildenen dancing out to the right, running into Ruskowski. Headman's a pass. It's Chipperfield tipping to Driscoll. Back to Chipperfield. Semenko coming on the left. Chipperfield scores! Chipperfield with some pretty moves. And it's a 5-1 to one hockey game. 18.45, the time of the first Oiler goal. Well, Ron Chipperfield, of course, is such a great night on Friday. Makes a nice move here. You can see him pull the puck by Barry Long. Pulls it right into him. Moves in. Let's the shot go in motion. Stick side low. Gary Smith. Fine move to get Long. Here's where he just puts the move on Barry Long. You pull it right in. Right by Barry Long. Let's the puck go in the same motion. Stick side low. Nice play by Ron Chipperfield. That is his sixth goal in two games and his ninth of the playoffs. Driscoll and Sildenen assist at 1845. Chipperfield scoring to make it five to one. Now the puck back in the Winnipeg zone. Out to Lasuk on left wing. His pass, Silton and off balance, fires it ahead. And it comes into the Winnipeg zone. It's tied up. It came out back in, and we have offside. Face off outside the Jets line with 102 to play. This is the second period. Story up there in the clock. From the center line, Micheletti dumped it and it deflects out of play off Moffat's stick. And Bruce McGregor leaves us now to go down to the intermission studio where he'll be talking with Peter Young and reviewing highlights of this second period, which has seen the Jets outscore the Oilers 3 to 1 after Winnipeg had taken a 2 0 lead in the first period. Two of the Jets' goals coming on power plays, another while both teams were shorthanded. Now from the faceoff, Schuberg comes to the center line and shoots it in along the boards and hit Ron Fournier, one of the linesmen. Now it's played back of the goal by Schuberg. Micheletti bringing it to the right side. On the back end, got forced back by Moffat. The Jets are really skating and checking beautifully tonight. 
Long pass to center. Gretzky to his left. Callaghan in the slot. Backhand shot. And Smith shovels it away to his right with a stick. And it's cleared on down into the Oilers zone. Selden in backboard. Erickson after him. He fires it around behind. Lasuk is there for it. Lasuk in the corner. Checked by McDonald. Selden in playing it back into their skates. And now it's frozen to the boards. And we'll have a face off to the right of Meal with 15 seconds left in this second period. They're calling the face off outside since it was the Winnipeg man whose skates were holding it to the boards. We have a change of players. Gretzky will take the face off against Sullivan, who's on now for Winnipeg. And now Nielsen is being removed from the ice, and Lukowicz takes his place. A left-handed shot on right wing. Lukowicz steering it back to Terbenci, fires it to the Oilers line, where it's picked off, and Hughes fanned on it, got it back, plays it ahead, and Lukowicz shoots it back into the Edmonton zone, picked up by Hamilton. Hamilton, a long pass, is going all the way down the ice, and that's the end of the second period. With the score, the Winnipeg Jets five, and the Edmonton Oilers one. The period began with Winnipeg leading 2-0 on first period goals by Lindstrom on a power play, and long while both teams were... Well, we will have a man in the penalty box Shimmerfield for 15 seconds. As the final period gets underway, the Jets a brief power play chance. Eddie Mio making his appearance in this game at 9.23 of the second period, replacing Brighton. Has not as yet given up a goal. In the playoffs, Mio has played in two previous games for a total of 60 minutes giving up four goals, an average of four goals per game, and he has no one loss record. All right, we're underway as the puck is back into the Winnipeg zone from the faceoff. Lukowicz back to clear it out. Steered to the left side by Sildenad, but before Semenko can get to it, McKinnon cleared it back out to center. Ruskowski shooting it in. And they haven't posted time on the clock for that penalty of Chipperfields. Now the puck is in the Edmonton zone. And it rebounds. Wait a minute, what's Chipperfield doing in the penalty box? They're at full strength out here. <laughs> well, that's right. Uh, Preston and Langevin are still in there for their uh, major penalties for fighting. Langevin, that's who it is. I was looking at my score sheet here. Chipperfield got the goal. I was looking at the goal score and thinking he was in the penalty box. So what's uh, he doing out there? It's been a long season, Bruce. All right, Silden. <laughs> or uh, Lukowicz shooting it in, and out comes Mio to clear it before Lukowicz can get to it. And we will have a face-off. Yeah, that's Langevin over there along with Preston, who are completing their five-minute penalties imposed at 17.09 of the second period. Well, for the Oilers, of course, uh, they've got to hope that they can uh, get a couple of good opportunities, get a couple of quick goals, and get themselves back into this game. Certainly, here's a case where you miss someone like a Dennis Sobchuk because he's so explosive. You could use his shot, his skating in a game of it when you're in this situation. Well, uh, they're sending Erickson away, and Moffat will take the face off. But coming back to Hamilton, dumps it ahead in the circle. Gretzky's pass picked off by Erickson, a quick shot wide to the left. Now Callaghan, checked by Moffat. Slides it ahead, Moffat intercepts and fires wide to the left. It bounces to the left edge and into the mesh. And we will have a face-off back outside the blue line. 105 gone. Here's the attendance. 10,495 people are here, and I guess that's about as many as you can get in here, isn't it, Bruce? I think that's about it. There's probably, uh, they can put a few more in standing room, but uh, that's, uh, that's all you can see. What kind of a uh, souvenir can we rip off here after the game for the last WHA game in history? Uh, you'll have to let me think about that one. <laughs> well, we could take the director home. She's cute. Now uh, here's a long clearing shot down the ice by the Oilers, and we have icing call. And they'll bring it back and face it off to the right of Eddie Beal. Five to one, the Jets leading with 8.41 remaining. 
just uh, sitting here thinking, you know, I don't know whether the WHA has an award, you know, for the most valuable player in the playoffs, but it'd be kind of interesting, I guess, maybe to think, uh, who would you pick in, in, a, in a case like this? Uh, I guess you could toss around names like uh, Lukowicz and Ruskowski, and of course, Gretzky and McDonald, uh, there's a lot of them. Yep. Okay, the puck cleared by Hamilton out on right wing. Flett was taken into the boards. He relays it across the Jets line. Weir was tied up. The puck goes loose. Still loose. Terbenci clearing it to the boards. And now it's fed by Sullivan to the right side. As they move in, Nielsen is forced back by Schmier. Centers and Hamilton picks it off in the slot. Oilers out four on two. Hamilton to the right. Here's Flett cranking up. He scores! Cowboy Flett blasting past the right side of Gary Smith. And it's now five to two. That goal coming early after only 148 of play. Well, we're going to take another look at this now. Al Hamilton taking the puck. Flett's on the right side. Now, you're going to take a look at him. We talked about Cowboy Flett. He can shoot the puck. And he gets all of this one, puts it high to the far side, catches a far corner on Gary Smith. And believe me, nobody shoots him harder than Cowboy Flett. Now, here's the play again. Langston is taking a look. It's a four on two. See Flett on the right side. And he really tees it up. And you see Smith move out. But he'll just catch the top corner. What a great shot that was by Cowboy Flett. Hamilton fed him the pass. He gets an assist, and we'll try to pick up the second assist. We lost it on the PA because of the crowd noise. They were clapping and stomping. Now the puck back in the Oilers zone. Meal out to the right corner, plays it around behind, is centered in front, and they shoot. You can see Neil get tied up with his defenseman here and can't get back to the net. And of course, Nielsen doesn't make any mistake with that one. Kent Nielsen's third of the playoffs. Sullivan gets an assist. Only one assist to Sullivan. At 2.09, Nielsen makes it 6 2 Winnipeg with his third playoff goal. And that may have been a big goal because the Oilers, by scoring just seconds before, made it five to two. They're still very much before made it five to two. They're still very much in it at that point. But now this one hurts. Eddie Meal came way out to the right corner to play the puck, and I don't think he ever did get set again when he came back. He had a hurry back. Puck was coming in front. He got tangled up with a teammate, and finally Nielsen just. Al Nielsen made it over the line. That's right. Al Nielsen made a great play. He held on to the puck. He didn't get rid of it too quick. He held on to it, pulled it by everybody, and had the wide open net. Back to the live action here. Coming to you live on CFRN from the Winnipeg Arena. Silden and sliding it to the left. Now it's fed to Chipperfield. He's forced back by Ruskowski. Starts to go again. Pulls away from Ruskowski. Over the Jets line. Nah, pull checked off his stick by Long. And Ruskowski cleared it out right at Chipperfield. And he lost it as he tried to maneuver in over the line. Ruskowski clearing it. Now to the right side. Lindstrom reached back for it. And his skates went out from under him. Now it's cleared back into the zone. And McKinnon playing without a stick. Callahan got around him. And now he's... Squeezed in against the boards and tied up there by McKinnon, who lost his stick, and he got help from Lukowicz on his knees. And the faceoff will come to the right of Gary Smith. They play 254 of the final period, and they're 706 away from the end change. The Jets leading it by six to two. Now we take a look at Davy Dryden on the Oiler bench and encouraging his teammates on. One thing about this team all year, Al, they've been together. They'll be together whether they win or lose. That's the type of team they are, and it's a credit to Glenn Sather. He's put together, I think, a great uh, group of individuals. Well, there are an awful lot of hockey teams around the world who never made it to the finals of their league, and any time you do, no matter what league it is, it's, it's a worthy accomplishment. Now the puck at center as the Jets battle it across the line, but it's broken up by Gretzky. Gretzky to Schmier. He's checked by Schuberg. 
cleared it out. Now Schuberg is banged off the wall, and the puck is frozen there, and tempers are getting a little frayed, I detect. That was Driscoll who took Schuberg out. Well, that's interesting, Al, because when we looked at the replays, it was so hard to tell. We knew the puck went off somebody. I guess it must have went off Moffat and not Hamilton. Uh, because they've just credited that goal. The goal that originally they'd given it to Erickson has now been given to Moffat. So okay. Moffat must have got part of his body or his stick on that puck. Moffat gets it. And uh, for Moffat, it was his third of the playoffs. Now play in the jet zone. It's cleared to the line. Langevin threw a stiff check there, knocking Moffat halfway over the boards. This is Schuberg to Sullivan in left. The goal centered it and went through the crease, and Schuberg after it. But now Schmier clears it around to the left side for Semenko. Hitman's off Gretzky's stick at center, and Schuberg takes over the Jets line. He's slammed to the wall by Driscoll. Gretzky playing it in. Driscoll has it. Driscoll centering pass, and Smith out to direct it away to the right. And now, along the far board, Schmier took a pretty good run, and a Jets player picks off the pass at the blue line. It was Erickson he took out. Here's a centering attempt by Fred. It comes right in front. Oh, and Smith came by Driscoll. Right from the doorstep. The puck in the left corner. Lassit trying to tie it up with Driscoll. And how Smith ever stopped that one, I don't know. Uh, Glenn Saylor continues, you know, to mix his lines up. Here he's got Gretzky with Driscoll and Semenko. And they put a little pressure on Winnipeg in front of that. You can see Driscoll get it. You see the puck fall in behind him. But cleared by one of the jet uh, forwards coming in behind. Another you know, look at it. Driscoll gets a stick onto it. And you're going to see it's going to be Erickson. It's going to come in behind Smith. He doesn't know where the puck is. But Erickson does, and he clears out of harm's way. Face off to Smith's left, it comes to Callaghan, a quick, or split rather, a quick shot was wide to the right, and the Jets clear to center, Hamilton picking it off near center, shooting it back in. Set up behind by Smith, McKinnon clearing around to the right side, Lindstrom missed it, fell as he tried to stop quickly, now Ruskowski tied up by Hunter, Lindstrom pokes at it, it comes out to center ice, and Hamilton gets it. Feeds it ahead, and Flett relays it back into the Jets zone to the left. Back of the goal, we're trying to tie up McKinnon. McKinnon gives it to Ruskowski. Ruskowski got dumped there by Hunter. Play goes right on, it's played off the boards to center, and Lukowicz couldn't get it. Hamilton hit Manning to Weir, it bounced away on him, and now it's shot back in by Hunter. Back of the goal, Smith leaves it now, Long takes over there. Very long, with less than five minutes until the end change, slides a pass to the left. Ruskowski, a rink-wide pass, picked up inside the Oilers' line by Lindstrom. He shoots, and Neal, hugging the left pipe, turned it aside. Now it's fed to center ice, too far for Chipperfield. Lukowicz getting it. One of the Jets' players is being detained in the zone, and it's offside. Ruskowski was tangled up in the corner to the left of the goal by Hughes, and the puck came in before he could clear the zone. He was way back in the left circle. And it was offside. 4.30 to go until they change ends. It's 6-2 to two Winnipeg. Here's well, that chance by Lindstrom. There's Lindstrom coming in again and uh, taking the shot. Eddie Meal blocking it on the short side. What a game Lindstrom's had today as well. He's been skating and working hard. Buck comes to the center line and Campbell drives it home. Now Micheletti sliding it to the right. Silton and feeding to center. Callaghan, long past the line. This is Chipperfield working against Terbenci. A backhand shot, and he slid it just wide to the far pipe. To the left of Smith. Now in the corner, Terbenci tying up Chipperfield, who kicks it back along the boards. It's held in the zone. Callaghan battles for it in the corner. Out to the point. Cranking up Micheletti. A shot goes off Smith. Rebounds to the right corner to Callaghan. He's held by Sullivan. It's knocked in behind the net. And now Terbenci picks it up and goes to the right wing side. Slides a pass to the left, and here come the Jets. This is Hicks closing in, and he was checked by Seldenen. The shot went wide to the right, and now it's fed to Chipperfield. They're opening up a long shot, and Smith goes to his knees to glove him and hold it for a face on. Well, we're going to take another look at Ron Chipperfield as he comes across the blue line. Gets the puck a good screen and gets uh, on the uh, Winnipeg net, but uh, Gary Smith makes a fine save. 
From the face off to Smith's left, Gretzky got a weak shot off that Smith had no difficulty handling. Cleared to the left, Lasuk tying up Schmier. Now back of the goal, it's cleared off the right wing boards and down the ice by Claxon. And the Oilers come back for it. Just over three minutes until they change hands. Now Schmier feeds it out, Lasuk and Driscoll fell to the ice. And now back in the Winnipeg zone, Gretzky goes down along with Claxon. Back at center ice. Here's Lasuk in over the Oiler line, and he fires it around on the boards. It drops to the left side. Langevin head manning. This is Gretzky working against Schoberg. Lasuk coming from behind. A drop pass got by Semenko. Driscoll a shot, and it went over the crossbar off Smith's arm. And now Smith trapping it against the mesh at the left of the goal. And we'll have a face off in the Winnipeg zone with 2:49 to go in the end until the end change. Dave Semenko a little bit slow getting up there. He went into the boards fairly heavily. He's on his feet now, and he's uh, just slipping a bit off to uh, the order uh, bench. Going to take a look at this again. Vesky makes a fine move here. You can see him drop the puck back. He goes by Semenko, but here comes Frisco, and he tees it up. And Smitty had to be quick with that glove hand there. He got just enough for it to put it up over top of the net. will come to the left of Gary Smith when play resumes. Glenn Sather showing the strains of a long hockey season, but a very successful one in which he can take great pride in the fact that he saw his team wind up in first place, have a very fine season, brought into the organization some great hockey players, people like Gretzky and Driscoll, Mio, now a centering pass right in front. Oh, and a shot just wide by Bailey. Oilers have had chances tonight, but they haven't been going in. And now in the far corner, a clearing a lob shot down at center ice. Here's a break. Picked up by Lukowicz. He's in. He shoots. And Mio makes a scrambling save, and he may have been hurt. No, he rolls over, and he gets back up. He's OK. Jets shoot it back in again. Ruskowski right on. A shot. Driscoll is hurt. Driscoll lying in the center zone right in front of the oiler bench and the officials haven't seen him yet but he was hurt. Well Ruskowski uh, gave Peter Driscoll the stick there uh, far behind the play and nobody's seen the action and uh, this is getting a little hot and heavy right now and uh, Bill Friday is starting to crack down. He's going to call a couple of penalties but we could have problems. We're going to take a look at Luke Witch as he comes in on goal and you're going to see him catch Eddie Mio high up under the shoulder and believe me, that was a fine save, but it did hurt Eddie Mio because that Lukewich gets a lot of wood on it. Great save by Eddie Mio. Bailey is getting the penalty. I'll oh, take another look at this shot here by Lukewich. And you can see the fine save by Eddie Mio and the puck going to the corner. You can see he's in a little bit of pain there as he grabs his right shoulder off of that shot. That's the eighth Oiler penalty for 19 minutes. The Jets have seven for 17. Did you see what happened to Driscoll and Bruce? Uh, it looked like Ruskowski gave him the stick uh, far behind the play. Uh, Al, I didn't uh, catch it all. I just seen Ruskowski beside Driscoll and Driscoll go to the ice. I don't really know what he did, but I have a feeling uh, that Mr. Friday is going to have to crack down or we could have a few problems on the ice. It happened behind the play. We did not see it. We just looked back and we saw Driscoll on the ice. Apparently he was all right. But he was very slow getting up. Now play resumes here with Langevin coming to the Jets line and he trips as he's checked by Preston. The puck comes back to the right of the Jets goal. Two minutes left until the end change and the Jets on the power play. They have possession of the puck at center ice and it's fired in now by Preston and cleared back out. At center ice, Turbenchy picking up the pass, then returning it to his right. And now Campbell fades it ahead. This is Nielsen coming in, dropping to the point. Turbenchy a shot wide. It rebounds to the left boards. Campbell racing in, plays it back of the net. Sullivan missed it in the right corner. Nielsen has it. Nielsen leaving it now for Sullivan. 
plays it around behind. McDonald going after it with Preston. Preston jamming him to the boards. Others move in. Preston coming out with the puck to the corner. Sullivan coming back of the goal. Puts it in front. It deflects off a stick in the slot. And it's cleared out of the zone to center ice by Carlson. Terbenchi's rink wide pass got by Campbell. He picks it up as it rebounds off the boards. Plays it around behind. Carlson dumps it to the slot. And it's quickly cleared away. And now Schmier bumping with Preston. Nielsen has the puck. We're in the last minute of the first half of the period. And now here comes Sullivan cranking up with a shot. Or Nielsen, rather. And that one went off the glass. And rebounds out to center where Sullivan gives it to Long. Long shooting it in. Rink wide to the left corner. Callaghan coming back of the net. Takes a traffic check. Still 25 seconds left in the penalty. Callaghan a long pass. Here's McDonald. After a great effort, tried to center and he played it around behind the net instead. Now coming in front in dangerous territory, Hughes headmans to the blue line, drop pass, and the puck is now fed to Chipperfield and he drives a shot wide right. From the point, the Oilers held it in, but now a long pass and Lukowicz didn't touch it or it would have been called, and they are calling it anyway. Well, it's a, a definitely an uphill struggle when you're down 6-2 with 10 minutes to go. But uh, as I said earlier, very, very proud of this team. And fellas like Joe Micheletti, I guess you have to wonder, is he going to be with the Oilers next year? He belongs to the Montreal organization. And I guess that's a question that uh, is on a lot of people's minds. Okay, we're underway. Here's a long shot by the Oilers. Hughes firing a wide left, getting it again. Another shot right on. And he just about drilled that one right through the midsection of Gary Smith. Oh, trapped it and held it against his body as he went to his knees. Now well, we're going to take another look at this as well. And uh, the puck go back. Nice shot by Hughes. He's got traffic in front. There's the cowboy standing right there, but there was no rebound as uh, Smitty dropped down on it, held it for a faceoff. Face off to the right of Gary Smith, and it will be Weir taking the draw against Sullivan. Weir gets it back to Flett, who fired wide to the left, and now it's Hicks trying to clear, but it bounces back into the left corner off an Oiler player. Campbell driving it around to the right wing side. Preston turned back at center, fell, and now here's Sullivan carrying on over the line, broken up by Hamilton, but it comes to Hicks in the left corner. Poke checked off his stick by Hughes. This is Weir now. Stan Weir, dipsy doodling, weaving, bobbing, coming to center, firing a pass off Flett stick. It comes in the zone to the right. Hunter after it, tying up with Preston. Now Flett trying to center. It hit traffic at the left of the goal. It goes to the far boards. Preston and Hunter again. Sullivan tugs it loose. And Hicks relays it down the ice off the boards. And it comes right to me also. There'll be no icing. Now Lasuk holding it in. He shot and it got by Silden and it comes in the left corner. Fed up the wing, Hunter at center, and his pass is tipped back in by Erickson. Now it's brought out to center ice, and along the near board, Semenko firing it in, and falling is Schubert, but he got up, nobody near him, and back of the net, beats up the left side to Lasuk. Lasuk skated off by Driscoll, right in front of the Jets bench, and they freeze it there. We'll have a face-off midway between the Edmonton blue line and the center line, with 8.37 remaining in this period. Jets leading by 6-2. to two. They led 2-0 after 1, 5-1 after 2. And each team has scored here in this third period. Well, they're supposed to be smiling and happy, but they don't look that way. Maybe they are doing a little reminiscing on the final WHA game and thinking of seasons past. We have an offside against... Big Semenko of the Oilers. Face off will come back near the center line. 828 left. Glenn Sather, I'm sure, is asking himself, where did we go wrong? How can we do it better the next time around? Well, it's not over yet, Glenn. Four goals down, but there's still time. If you can average two go a goal every two minutes, you can tie it. 
Now Gretzky leading the play out from behind his goal. Pass Silverman up to Gretzky at center. Shooting it in. Chasing it. It comes back of the net. Schuberg clearing to the left side. Lasuk waiting to pick it up. Lasuk feeding them off at center. At the line on the crisscross. Left it for Erickson, but Silverman intercepted. Silverman back at center. Comes to the Jets line. Played it by Lasuk. Picks it up in the left corner. Puts it in front. It's cleared away. Gretzky has it. Players. And it's back to the left of the goal. Here's another drive by Selden in the Wada Smith's glove. Schuberg in the corner. Trips and falls. He took a good dive there. Friday knows that there'll be no penalty. Face off to the left of Smith. 742, 62 Jets. From the draw, it comes to the line. Langevin swipes at a backhand shot that's blocked to the right of the goal. And now, oh my goodness, Langevin just socked it to Lindstrom, bowling him over. He gets the puck at center, shoots it back in. Long clearing it out, and Smear turns with it at center. Smear is forced back in his own zone, trying to get away from Sullivan, dumps it to center. Now Langevin over to McDonald. McDonald to Gretzky and over the line, and he fired. It goes off long stick and out of play. The faceoff will come outside the circle to Smith's left. Just looking across at, uh, of course, Tom McPhee, and I, I'm just wondering what his thoughts are right now. Here's a fellow that was let go by Washington, just sitting at home, and uh, nothing was happening. He gets a call by John Ferguson. There he is, seven minutes and 14 seconds away, being the winning coach in the last Afro Cup championship team. It must be, he must have a great thrill to him. Some guys get all the breaks. Now, Langevin was taking a shot. It's broken up. Here's Lukowicz. Right in. He shoots. Oh! Poked the puck away as Langevin was cranking up for a slap shot. He got a breakaway only to be stopped by Eddie Mio. Great save. Now the puck is shot in by the Jets again. Behind the net is Callaghan battling for it with Ruskowski. And now on the far side is banked off the wall by Schmier. McDonald couldn't get it out, but now Schmier brings it out. Schmier dumping it into the right of the goal. A bouncing puck. McKinnon back. He's jammed to the wall. Puck is fed back to the point. Langevin shot, hit Ruskowski, and here comes Lindstrom. Two on one against Schmier. He's got Lukowicz with him. Lindstrom shoots and scores! Shoot it in right away as Hunter fires it in. Back of the goal, Schuberg. Schuberg dumping it to the right corner. This is Plaxen. Plaxen advancing to center, firing it in after crossing the red line. Flett is back. Golfs, is, golfs at it. Lasuk kicking it back in the corner to Erickson. Back to Lasuk. Backhands a shot to the right of the goal. Erickson relays it in front. A sprawling save. Another save. As a shot by Moffat came from the opposite side. And Mio. Being called upon to perform some big stops here. Well, we're going to take another look at this action around the oil and net. Put it to Erickson. He's going to move it out in front. Eddie Neal comes across and makes a super save. Lyle Moffat able to get the rebound, but on a bad angle, hits the side of the net. Consequently, he's got a whistle. Okay, here's Flat as we go back to the line. 
with the bigger foot landing on top, but Schubert caught him with a good check there. Buck back out at center ice. And now it's fed rink wide by Hughes, Flett picking it up off the board, sending Gretzky in. Trying to work through the defense of Schuberg and Claxon, but he didn't make it, and Schuberg has the buck now. Tried to hit man to Erickson, but it bounced off Flett. Now it's played back of the goal, and Claxon comes out to the right. Bank pass, Moffat fanned on it, but it's brought out by Erickson. He stumbled, still has it, Hunter after him. Working in on the defense, and he lost the puck in the slot area, and it was cleared out by Hamilton, who broke up the play. This is Gretzky now, working against Terbenchy, a shot, and Smith saves on his knees, and he scoops it away to the left corner with his stick. Claxon after it. Claxon bringing it behind, stops, pivots, comes back out to the left. Headman to Lesuk, skated off by Driscoll, leaves the puck, Claxon backhanded into the Oilers zone from his own side of center. Backcourt is Micheletti, we have icing call with 4.41 remaining. Winnipeg leading it by seven to two. They'll go back for the faceoff to the left of Gary Smith. Fans are chanting goodbye Oilers as they have been consistently throughout the game ever since they first turned. Well, we're gonna see a collision here, Cowboy Flint and Schoberg, and uh, they run into each other pretty good. The Cowboy, uh, he gave a pretty good the shot there. And, uh, I think uh, we talked about this earlier. Schubert has definitely been a big plus for this Winnipeg team coming back from a serious uh, Achilles tendon. Now the puck back inside the Oiler line. Preston battling for it against Micheletti. Preston goes down. Nielsen bumped by Micheletti. Preston again in the corner, tied up by Micheletti. The puck comes loose to the left of the goal. Nielsen trying to center. It hit Chipperfield's skate. Preston failed to get it and is picked up by Semenko. Drops it back in behind now Micheletti. Comes out to the right of his goal with 4.14 left. Micheletti feeding to the right is picked off by Sullivan. Cranks up, doesn't shoot. Played it by one man, Sildenen, couldn't get it, but the Jets hold it in. Terbenchy is shot. Mio gloves, throws it away, and it's brought back of the net by Micheletti. Joey Micheletti on the right side now. Fakes, now feeds to the left. Picked off by Semenko. Hit over the line. Semenko goes in deep, tried to center and hit Terbenchy. It comes out in front. Smith falls. Loose puck and it's brought out by Preston. Smith fell along with Driscoll. And the puck shot back into the Oilers zone to the right. Gary Smith thinking he's a forward. A centering pass and Mio scoops it away to his left. Jets hold it in. They're in command by five goals. Now in the corner, that was Hicks taking out Chipperfield. Micheletti slides it to Sildenen. Played it by one man, it's picked up, but they don't get it out. Sildon has it again. Trying to get away. This is Gindon after him, forces it back. Sildon behind the goal, Gindon after him again. Sildon lost it in the skates of Lindstrom. A cut running pass by Gindon, and it goes rink wide to the right. Lukowicz tying it up in the corner. off to the right of Eddie Mio. Gretzky against Gindon, and it's played by McDonald back of the net to Schmier. Schmier comes left, checked by Gindon, gives it to Callaghan, going to his off wing on the right now. Swings away from the sweep check by Lindstrom, plays it into Gretzky, but I think Gretzky and McDonald were both a little offside on the play, and they're bringing it back out for the faceoff. Now I was just going to mention, you know, we talked about earlier about who would be the WHA playoff player and I can remember last year, it was a fellow with the Winnipeg Jets, Bob Gingon, who did win that award. So it'll be interesting to see who does get the award this year. Okay, the puck in the Jet zone. It's cleared out by Claxon, dragged from behind by Lindstrom, but then he lost it. And now Langevin gives it to Schmier. He's checked by Gingon, who knocks it off his stick. Schmier back. Feeds to the left for Langevin. Long pass picked up at the line by McDonald. McDonald had it knocked off his stick by Gindon, and Schuberg clears to center. Now Schmier. It's picked off. Here's Lindstrom into the left circle. Forced back of the goal by Langevin. Stops. Tried to dump it in front and hit Langevin. Works it out again. It's picked off into the left corner. Callaghan, he's jammed to the boards and tied up. And now they come out with Langevin. Langevin feeding Callaghan. Over the line to Gretzky. Hammers a shot. Skate saved by Smith as he did the split. Schmier holding it in at the line. Kicking at it. Playing it ahead against Erickson. But it's brought out by Schubert. Schubert working against Langevin. A shot. He drove it wide right across the 
the front of the net. It rebounds to center, and Lukowicz drops it back in his zone to Erickson. Erickson clearing it out off the boards. And now Gretzky at the line, left it for Hunter. He's boxed in, and they're going to have a faceoff with 137 left in the hockey game. And the Winnipeg Jets, only a minute and 37 seconds away from their third AFCO Cup championship and their second in as many years. Oh, we're going to take a look at this shot now. You see Smitty, big the big glove hand on it, keep it out. Well, I don't know whether I'm going to have an opportunity later, but I know that next year uh, we're going to probably be with opposite teams, you know, when the NHL starts. I'd just like to say what a pleasure it's been for me to have the opportunity to be with you these last few days in Winnipeg. Bruce, it's been a special thrill for me coming back to Edmonton after 16 years of living elsewhere and having an opportunity to work with people like you and Glenn Sather for such a brief time. to see both of you continuing after your careers in top-level management. And I want to wish you the very best of luck for next season and many more to come. Well, we'll be seeing you in Minnesota. Okay. Now Moffitt and Weir on the faceoff about 10 feet inside the Jets' blue line. It comes to the point to Hughes, and his pass was tipped by Moffitt out to center. Shot back to the line, broken up by Campbell. Now it's fed to Hunter. It got by him, and it comes in over the line, but we have an offside against Cowboy Fleck. And they'll bring the face off back near the center line with 110 remaining, and the crowd getting noisier here with every stopping. Well, I'd just like to say the Edmonton Oilers will leave right after tonight. They're uh, going to charter right back to Edmonton Industrial Airport on uh, Gateway Aviation. So for their fans, and I know their relatives and wives, and they can look forward to seeing them a little bit later on this evening at Gateway Aviation at the Industrial Airport. Okay, why not get out there if you can, folks, and welcome home the Oilers. They didn't win the AFCO Cup, but they've given it a great shot here. It's pretty hard when you get down 3-1, but they didn't quit. They came out, they waxed, they get to that last game. They just ran into a little better club here tonight. Last minute as the puck comes into the jet zone to the right now. In the corner, Campbell battling for it along with Tempecto. It's back to the left point. Nicoletti center is and goes rink wide. Chipperfield after it. He's forced to the boards by Trebetsi. of having the last penalty ever called in the World Hockey Association. It comes at 1920. Scott Campbell. will come back in the Winnipeg zone to the left as Campbell has gone at 1920. I didn't hear the announcement, folks. Uh, Bruce, I think it might have been elbowing, but it was pretty well lost in the crowd. Pretty hard to hear, Del. From the faceoff, they whistle it down. They'll do it again. 39 seconds remaining. Okay, Bruce is starting downstairs now for the post-game wrap-up. And now Micheletti backhands a pass to the right. Silden and drives it. It's blocked. Chipperfield back of the net. Comes to the right side. Looking for a man in front at the corner. Starts back toward the line to Micheletti. Micheletti, a man lost his stick there trying to check him. It was Lynch from a centering pass, and it goes rink-wide. Silden and puts it beside the net. It's centered out in front. Semenko scores! Dave Semenko may have the honor of scoring the last goal in the history of the WHA. And that will be, as far as the playoffs concerned, number four for Disco Dave. And it comes at 1948.
seven to three. It was their fifth final series in the seven year history of the league and the third time that they won the cup. Now the ushers are trying to control the crowd but they're just pouring over the boards out onto the ice and it's a real mob scene down around the Winnipeg goal. At the opposite end it's a little sadder. The Oilers have gone back to regroup complement each other and now they're coming up single file for the traditional post series handshake if they can get the Jets loose from all of their fans and each other. We're number one. You can't argue with that. Yes they are. And now the players are shaking hands. The Oilers will go to their dressing room and the Jets will stay out for the presentation of the Avco Cup. And they will have permanent possession of that cup having been the last team to win it as the WHA is now officially no more. Next year it's all one league the NHL with four fine teams coming into one of the oldest professional leagues in North America. Coverage of the AFCO Cup final on CFRN continues in a moment. Well, the last of the Oiler players are now leaving the ice to go to the dressing room. There's the AFCO Cup in all its shining majesty on the table in the center circle, awaiting presentation by, I believe, Mr. Ben Haskin, who is one of the great founders of this league seven years ago and has been associated with the Jets and now I Tommy McBee is out there congratulating his players we're waiting for Mr. Haskin to come out for the presentation final score was seven to three for the Jets here we are. These are the people who are part of Here comes Mr. Haskins rolling out along the red carpet. Tommy McVie and his players. Ron Bryan now representing the WHA coming out. We would at this time. work during the between periods and now speaking on behalf of our producer Al Halonia this is Al Shaver bidding you good night from the arena in Winnipeg.